What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have this nice and beautiful question on the board that says find the values of x that satisfies the square root of 16 minus x squared plus the square root of 9 minus x squared equal to 5. Our first step will be for us to move the square root of 9 minus x squared to the right hand side so that we have the square root of 16 minus x squared remaining on the left to be equal to we have 5 and as this crosses it becomes minus the square root of 9 minus x squared now to get rid of this square root we have to take the square of both sides so I'll square the left hand side I'll also square the right hand side now this square cancels out the square root leaving behind 16 minus x squared to be equal to now the right hand side is of the form a minus b all squared which can be expanded as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared now let's expand this like this so this 5 is like our a and the square root of 9 minus x squared is, our, is like our b. So this will be 5 squared minus 2 times 5 times the square root of 9 minus x squared. So that will be 2ab. And then plus b squared, which is plus the square root of 9 minus x squared squared. That is it. Now, simplifying further, we have 16 minus x squared to be equal to 5 squared is 25 minus 2 times 5 times the square root of 9 minus x squared will give 10 times the square root of 9 minus x squared and then plus now this square can cancel out the square root leaving behind 9 minus x squared very good now simplifying further, we have 16 minus x squared on the left to be equal to, now 25 plus 9 is 34, and then minus 10 times the square root of 9 minus x squared, and then minus x squared. Now notice something, I have minus x squared on the left hand side i also have minus x squared on the right hand side which can definitely cancel out leaving 16 to be equal to 34 minus 10 times the square root of 9 minus x squared now let's move 34 to the left hand side so that we have 16 as 34 crosses and becomes minus 34 and this is equal to now leaving negative 10 times the square root of 9 minus x squared on the right hand side and 16 minus 34 is negative 18 this is equal to negative 10 times the square root of 9 minus x squared now let's divide both sides by negative 10 so I'll divide the left by negative 10, I'll divide the right by negative 10. So this negative can cancel out. Now 2 can divide. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we have 9 over 5 on the left to be equal to negative 10 can cancel out negative 10. So we are left with the square root of 9 minus x squared. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to get rid of this square root by taking the square of both sides. So I'll take the square of the left hand side, the right hand side, and I'll take the square of the left hand side. Now this square on the left hand side is same as saying 9 squared all over 5 squared. And this is equal to, now this square cancels out the square root leaving behind 9 minus x squared. So 9 squared is actually 81 all over 5 squared is 25 and this is equal to 9 minus x squared. Now we can move negative x squared to the left hand side and when we do that it becomes positive. This is equal to, we leave the 9 on the right. 
then move 81 all over 25 to the right hand side so that it becomes negative 81 all over 25 good so simplifying further we have x squared to be equal to now this is a fraction now let's combine the fraction so we have 25 times 9 which is 225 so 225 minus 81 all over 25 that is it now simplifying further we have x squared to be equal to 225 minus 81 will actually give 144 all over 25 very good now we can take the square root of both sides to get rid of this square so i'll take the square root of the left hand side then on the right i'll put plus or minus the square root of the right hand side so this square root will cancel out the square leaving behind x to be equal to now this is plus or minus the square root of 144 is actually 12 all over the square root of 25 is 5 so the value of x is x is 12 over 5 or x is negative 12 over 5 as our final result now let's check now I'm going to be putting the value of x here to see if we're going to be having 5 so this is I'm going to put when x is equal to 12 over 5 which is a positive so this will be the square root of 16 minus x is 12 over 5 and I'm going to be squaring this because of the square we see here plus now the square root of 9 minus x x is 12 over 5 or squared that is it so we'll see if we're going to be having 5 as a result so this will be the square root of 16 minus now there is something we need to see here remember x is plus or minus and when I put it positive here when I square I have 144 all over 25 and when I also put in negative you see that since the power is even I'll still arrive at the same value that is it so plus the square root of 9 minus so this I'll have 144 all over 25 that is it and let's not forget to put our 5 here because that is what we want to check if we're gonna get so this becomes the square root of let's combine the fraction 25 times 16 is 400 minus 144 that will be 256 all over the denominator is 25 plus the square root of now let's combine the fraction here as well 25 times 9 is 225 minus 144 that will be 81 so 81 all over the denominator is 25 so we're checking if we're going to be having 5 now simplifying what we have here this will be the square root of 256 is 16 all over the square root of 25 is 5 plus now the square root of 81 is 9 all over the square root of 25 is 5 no we're going to check if we're going to be having 5 now let's combine the fraction we have a common denominator of 5 now we add the numerator 16 plus 9 which will give 25 and we all know that 25 divided by 5 is 5 which is equal to the right hand side so we have it well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care